Hey YouTube, um, I'm gonna be making a video on how to make a starburst effect like this one. Now, I don't know why you would really need something like this other than just making a background or something. I mean, a Christmas card, I guess. But I don't really know. All I know is they're really fun to make, really easy, and they're just kind of cool looking. Alright, and so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in and get started. Alright, what you want to do is you want to go File, New, and make a new, a little new document. You, and it really doesn't matter what size, just make it a decent size. Mine's 10 inches by 10 inches. Leave everything else alone, and you'll be okay. Alright. So here's our new document. Now what you want to do is you want to make this background there. You want to select your gradient tool and choose foreground to background. You want to make sure that your colors are black and white or else you'll just get some weird starburst that won't look good. All right, and then we drag a gradient all the way up to the top from the bottom bottom to top and for some reason around this point I've been having technical difficulties so I'm gonna pause the video draw my gradient and then start this back up again and don't worry you won't be missing out on anything so yeah alright guys so sorry about that for some reason my computer just messes up every time whenever I do that I don't know but here's the gradient from black from bottom to top black to white now what you want to do is go filter distort and wave now you want to select square and make sure you have the settings I have number generator is 5 wavelength minimum 10 maximum 120 amplitude minimum 5 maximum 35 scale both 100 and just hit OK now you get this right up your hair and this is where this is pretty much how the whole starburst comes together these are all all this right here is going to be the little part the little parts that come out of the middle anyway now what you want to do is go to filter distort polar coordinates hit rectangular to polar and you can this doesn't really matter the this just shows you what what it's going to look like the farther zoomed in you are it really doesn't even matter you don't have to mess with that Alright, so here's our starburst. Now, we want to add some color and make this a lot, a lot shinier, a little bit better. So what you do is go to image adjustments, and hue and saturation, or color balance. I'm using hue and saturation, it's just my preference. I like it a lot better. Check colorize down here in the bottom. And just slide down until you get a color that you like. And then you can mess with the saturation, make it darker, any more like vibrant of a color, I guess you could call it. And that one looks pretty good for me. Yours does not have to be the same color. It does not matter what color you make yours. Just hit OK. And go to Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. This is what's going to make it really shiny. It's, it makes it a lot better. You want to select light type as Omni. Your intensity. You just mess with this till you get something you really like over here in your little preview menu. Right over here, that like can make it like extremely bright, just where you can't see anything. You can make it black where you don't see anything except for the color black. So you can just mess around with this gloss. You can make it shiny or just mess around get something that you like for this I'm gonna make mine shiny because it makes it a little bit more vibrant exposure uh, you really don't want to mess with this all too much because you can really overexpose your picture and make it just not that good looking underexposure can't see a thing so just leave this at about zero you can mess with it a little bit I wouldn't mess with it too much ambience just makes 
just how far out you're going with this. I like mine at about 21 for this picture. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. Those are about my same settings, I think. Yeah, that's about right. Then just hit OK. Now you can see it's nice bright center here. Kind of fades out to your color, but your color is kind of dull now. And we don't like dull color. So what you can do is you can go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, and Contrast. And I always bring my brightness up just a tad to make it a little bit better. I like brighter. I normally don't mess with the contrast, so I'm just going to leave mine back at zero. And just hit OK. Now it's really bright. You got your color in there, but here's where the real color matters. When you colored it before, it really didn't matter all that much. Now go to Hue and Saturation. Select Colorize again. And here's where your color is coming in. This is, what, this is the final color. And you can come through you can pretty much select any color you want again really does not matter I'm gonna go back remotely close to the same color then turn the saturation up if you want make it more of a vibrant color and there you go we have a little starburst effect right over here now if you want to make this any better you can go through all your filters do it on different layers mess with all the hue and saturation and send me video responses messages just with the pictures and everything of your finished product i, I want to see how well this like i want to see my tutorials are working if anyone's getting anything from this so i hope you guys um like this i hope you guys liked my tutorial and comment rate subscribe and thanks for watching guys I